Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Diction Watch Reviews. Today we're taking a look at a British brand called Marlow Watch Company. Now I have reviewed a few of their brands in the past. If you don't remember, I did review their diving watch, the Morar, which was a pretty nice looking watch, a very, very well built watch. And yeah, um, you know, this watch as well is very well built. Um, I can tell that, you know, they really take their time into building their watches and their factory is very good because all of their watches are nearly, really, really perfect. And the quality is very good comparing it to some other micro brands or smaller brands out there in the world. Uh, Marlowe always has very good quality and it's something I really do notice. I notice small things like that. Some people might not notice that or some other channels, but I really do. I take it into account when reviewing a watch. But anyway, this is the Solent. It is available in two different colors. This is one of the color variations. It sells for 410 US dollars. I will drop a link to their website down in the description below. The packaging is pretty cool as well. It comes in a custom Marlowe cardboard box shipped by DHL free to your door. And I will throw up some photos of the box. It's the same box as the other video. I will drop a link to the other video I did of their diver. Um, but yeah, it's a very nice box and it also comes very well packed and secured. So no need to worry about that. Now in designing the Solent, their research revealed the approach of robustness, something that all nautical furniture seems to adopt. Um, whether it be the hull of a yacht, the bob or uh, the buoy of a granite flared base of a lighthouse, each has an underlying seam of strength. Um, there's a whole article on their website which you can read uh, behind the inspiration. Obviously it's a tough, robust watch. Um, it has to do with nautical furniture, it seems. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, very nautical, nautically themed, uh, a lot of their watches. So take that into consideration. The watch itself is completely polished, actually, which is quite stunning. It uh, looks pretty good. The polishing of the 316L stainless steel on this case is pretty good. Um, it measures 42 millimeters across in terms of diameter. We're looking at 46 millimeters top to bottom, or lug to lug, like we call it. We're looking at 22 millimeter lugs here. We're looking at a case thickness of 10.8 millimeters. So we have a very thin, short lug to lug watch at 42 millimeters. It wears really nice. Um, it's a very nice size. 42 millimeters with a 46 lug to lug wears really nice. So basically it wears like a 40 with a 48 lug to lug, like a Submariner. Um, I'd say it wears like a Submariner size, but of course a bit thinner. Now, um, taking a look at the actual watch. So it's a very unique design as you can see here. We have that kind of cap here where the crown is, which is pretty cool. Um, I haven't seen any other brands using that. I think it's kind of very, I don't know, it's kind of different. It's very different. I really don't see that many watches using these types of crowns. Kind of like the cap of a soda or something of that nature, which is really cool. It's a pull and push crown. But this watch does have 100 meters of water resistance, which is very nice. You can take this thing in the water. And of course, it does come on a nice, uh, custom, genuine rubber band. So of course, no issue going in the water with this watch right out of the box. You have that 100 meters for security. Case back is screwed down as well. So we get 100 meters. Obviously, this is an automatic watch at this price point. It does house the Miyota 9039. It's an automatic caliber. It's a Japanese automatic caliber. It beats at 28,800 beats per hour. You do get a glimpse of it through the case back. It has about a 40 hour power reserve. This run running about plus six seconds a day, which is really good. No issues there whatsoever. Sexual movement has uh, manually uh, winding, which is really easy to grip on this nice crown. It's actually signed as well with the M logo right there. So I'm gonna give it some juice here. There it goes. Nice yellow sweeping seconds hand to match that band and the chapter ring. That should be enough for now. Okay. One position, and that's hacking. And set the time here. Very nice movement of the hands, not too stiff, not too loose. Push it back in, and it starts running again. Now I want to show you the movement to the case backs. I think the case backs are actually really, really cool. Um, they have a yellow ring on the sapphire case back, um, which has a little uh, saying on it, which I think is pretty unique. I was a king of my little world, Solent. I had a good boat under me and felt as free as the birds that circled above. Um, just a cool little saying. Uh, this case back is screwed down, a very unique way to screw it down with all these little holes going around it. Kind of reminds me of a ship or something like that. 
Um, but yeah, you can get a glimpse of the Miyota 9039. There is some striping on the bridge. You do get that rotor, of course. Not too bad, the rotation of this one. But yeah, uh, I think they did a pretty good job kind of designing the case back with the theme of yellow. Beyond expectations, Mark 22 quick release pins on this genuine rubber band. The band is really nice. I was quite surprised by that. Uh, it is signed down here with the M for Marlowe. Also, you do get a custom Marlowe pin and buckle, two safety keepers, and it's all around a very flexible, flexible band straight out of the box. Uh, no issues wearing this. I would definitely keep it on this band if you're going to buy this watch. Now, some other stuff. Taking a closer look at the dial and design of the dial. We do get an, uh, an anti-reflective coated sapphire crystal, which is very legible. So no issues with reading the time there and, you know, with the light on it right now, as you can see. Um, it does a pretty good job of reflecting the light. Now the three-piece dial, it has a signature yellowed colored ring, nautical divider hands, a hairline running seconds hand, which is yellow, if you didn't notice. And it's very legible. You have those arrows pointing down at the numerals. You probably might not even have noticed that 12, 1, 2, 3, all the, the numerals on the dial. But yes, uh, you can see that right there. Now there is no loom on this actual watch. Um, it's not really a diving watch. It's more of a casual day-to-day -day watch. Um, so if you're someone who wants an incredible amount of loom, maybe this might not be a watch for you. Um, but it's a very well-designed watch. It's very well put together. The finishing is on point. Uh, it's a very unique case design. Um, I think everything came out really, really good on this watch. I like how it looks. I like this version a little better than the other color version. Uh, that's just my opinion though. Um, but yeah, it looks really nice. I think they did an excellent job on this model, perhaps even better than their previous model. Um, but yeah, let me throw this on my wrist. I'll show you exactly how it looks. Actually, I just purchased a new watch for myself today. I'm actually wearing it. This is the Orient Flieger. Um, not a new watch. It came out about a year ago, I'd say. Um, this is their 42 millimeter Flieger, um, which is pretty cool. It's an automatic Flieger by Japanese brand Orient. And we'll have a review of this coming up as soon as possible. I've been wearing this all day, just got it in today. So pretty cool. On my 6.5 inch wrist, it fits very nicely across my wrist, as you can see there. You can even see that slight anti-reflective coating on the watch. Um, very legible watch. It looks very kind of sporty, dressy, and casual at the same time. Obviously, if you want to dress this one up a little bit, you can always throw it on a genuine leather band. I think it would look pretty cool on a leather band as well. If I were you, I'd keep it on the rubber band. I don't really dress up in a suit or anything like that to work. Um, but I think it looks really nice, and obviously it's definitely the most comfortable on this rubber band as it was built for this watch. And as you can see, those holes are extremely close together, so you're going to get a very good fit. The buckle is also nicely done, doesn't stick out at all, which I do appreciate. The small things I do notice. Um, so yeah, I think it fits my wrist fairly nicely. My wrist is 6.5 inches. It does swell to 6.75 during the summer, even though now we're in fall right now, so no more 80 degrees days, but... Um, yeah, could be about 70, 75 during October here. So guys, all around, I think this is a very well-built watch for $400, including shipping, considering most brands charge for worldwide shipping, because DHL is very good service, and it's quite expensive, at about $30 to $60 a box, if you guys didn't know that, or even more from different countries. Uh, so it's basically $400 shipped. I think this is a very good value watch, um, considering the quality of the watch. Um, the components as well, you're getting a 9039, you're getting sapphire on the back, sapphire on the front, 100 meters of water resistance, a custom genuine rubber band, very neat packaging, and the quality is always very good from Marlowe. If you own one of their watches, you probably know that already. Um, if you don't, um, it's definitely something maybe you should try to experience. They have a chronograph as well, which I saw they released. There's a few different other models, and I think they're doing a pretty good job at what they're trying to do. Uh, their whole theme, kind of British, seems very British to me. Their design and everything, kind of naval, sea, kind of British design. It, that's what it really comes off to me. Everything is very kind of unique. Everything is very neat, symmetrical. And um, they usually do a pretty good job of making a decent watch for a decent price. I didn't find any errors on this watch or quality control issues. Um, everything is 100%, honest, honestly. Uh, I don't know what... There is bad to say about it. Um, obviously, if you, you want a dive watch, maybe this is not for you. 
Um, but if you want an everyday watch with 100 meters that you can take in the water, take in the shower, you can wear to work on a leather band, you can wear on the weekends on this nice yellow genuine rubber band, this might be something to look into. So let me, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below as usual. This is the Marlo Solent. I think it's a very cool watch. I like the design. It's not a homage. It's their own design. It does not look like anything else out there. And I think they did a good job. So definitely hit that subscribe button down in the uh, section below. You can definitely leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Do you own any Marlo watches? If you do, share your experience. And I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for tuning in to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Bye.